TBR is back you guys and it's bringing out one vehicle is the Tuscan Speed 6 and it's about to get ready to go for one big custom race on Gran Turismo Sports. So good thing that choosing of the good color is the reflex purple because that was definitely quite good for one of the three color ship vehicles was definitely included to this car. So this will be able to take a good look at the performance sports. So the max horsepower is 360, max torque is 308.8, weight pound is 2425, and the drivetrain is FR. That was a pretty interesting good performance on this car. So this is definitely only has one TBR vehicle in the UK because this is going to be quite very excited to be able to race with the Speed 6 again. But this is definitely quite good to be able to have a premiumized vehicle for it once again. So, looks like it's time to get ready to go and then this will be able to race on Brad Hatch Grand Prix Circuit because this is going to be one British Tastic sports car to be able to race for it. With a good look at that interior view, but it also has two different tint colors was definitely included by two boards. Now, looks like this is going to be able to get started in for it. Just only had to do a last place to do the little start and then this will be quite good to be able to have a fine professional race to be able to get started because most of the TBR fans really want that Speed 6 to be added into GT Sports because this is pretty awesome to be able to have one car in the game. So I guess it will be it will be more to be able to add it in in the later updates and featuring with the new TBR grip the second generation model from the original TBR grip 500 because this is definitely quite very good to be able to add it in for it well it could be possible we'll have to see it for it so right now going on to Brad Hatch Grand Prix circuit to be able to get ready because this is going to be quite an excellent good start to be able to have the C V6 to be racing on the UK track again for it but this is going to be quite good to be able to race for the Porsche models that will be quite very so now let's see there's some few other car models will be in okay so F-150 Raptor is in 15th place that was definitely quite pretty good to be able to get started for now Let's go for a little race ride on the P6 and then this is going to be quite very good. So, looks like this is a pretty good interior style with definitely good look on this one. So this is definitely quite very impressive to be able to have that good performance for it. So eventually, it also has a, a 5-speed transmission for the Tuscan P6. It's definitely included. So this little changes in a fully customizable transmission but it also remains the same but it also adds up the top speed will give it a good adjustment for it so this will be able to get a little bit more speed efficient performance now this is going to have to go fast and goes a little bit much quick improvement to be able to go as possible for it oh yeah by the way the notification you receive on the bell on the top right that someone should definitely like my lobby library but good thing that it was the Tomahawk X Special Stage Route Experience. So this is going to be quite good because everybody really wants to try out this library for a spin. Okay, looks like there's another Tuscan P6 is definitely in the race. So that was quite very really good. So it was pretty good to be able to race strong like the Maserati Grand Turismo S was actually in the race because this is going to be quite an excellent good choice to be able to have that TBR to be able to race in to be part of the N400 category division is definitely quite going a little bit simple for it. Well, it is definitely complicated to be able to have which one of the most strongest N400 sports cars in the event because this is going to be able to have that good efficient performance for it. So the Tuscan Speed 6 is definitely the peers in Grand Turismo 2 as a special model, but later in Grand Turismo 3, it is definitely shown in the full safety reports because it also has a lot of good color to be able to avail to for it because this car also remains to be the main vehicle in this series because that could be able to have some good efficient performance for it. But luckily, it also shown that the one makes defense featuring the Tuscan Speed 6 and Grand Turismo 3 8 because this is definitely quite 
recognizable to be able to remember this. So, looks like this is going to be able to get some good efficient performance to be able to drive it in and as fast as possible to be able to have some smooth handling to be able to use the steering wheel to be able to get some smooth handling turns to be able to go by the apex. So, this is might be pretty good to be able to look around while driving on the long straight. But this might be able to give a good look around for it. So, it only might be able to have a drive on Route X. Okay, so, it's like taking on that pass on the Ferrari 512 BB is going to be going a little smooth inside in and overtaking to be fast as possible. Okay, so looks like Ferrari GTR in the 4B40 is actually in for it because this is going to be quite very interesting to be able to have some good race in. Looks like there is the Chevy Cobra, no way, that's the BMW C8 was actually in the race. Good thing that this is going to be able to have a car guest to be able to show for it. Okay, step one in and overtake the C8 and then this is going to be quite very awesome to be able to speed it up. This road goes in for it. Okay, coming in for it. Third lap is going on the halfway mark. Overtake that vantage will be able to come closer and then we'll pass in. Well, I kind of like this good interior style, so this is definitely quite very good to have the black tinting variant as well. So, looks like this is quite very amazing for it. So, well, I kind of like this good color on the reflex purple, so it's definitely a good color shift type for it. Well, speaking of which, that, that was definitely quite very possible between the custom C6 and the movie, Looney Tunes Back in Action. Yeah, I kind of guess that this movie is quite very awesome featuring all the Looney Tunes characters for it. And possibly one thing to be able to be sure for it. Well, C6 is definitely silver color style. What's definitely a thing in the spy car. Well, Link has the sun was definitely using it. Well, probably, well, maybe you just really want to watch the movie. Looney Tunes back in action because that was so very funny featuring all the Looney Tunes characters and oh yeah also for the room monkey scene because that was quite definitely the rare artifact that that the evil bad guys really wants to turn people into monkeys well uh, maybe you just really want to watch the movie because that will recognize it for it so good thing that this B6 is definitely quite very good and also, it turns out that it was a quite very good for this vehicle to be in the movie that actually was a spy car was what that Doug said. Well, of course it is that it was a spy car, of course, because they just used the custom C6 to be able to have that great color for it. Okay, going in for it because catching up on the top two fastest M400 cars and it looks like I passed on the Toyota SFR racing concept. Now going after the BMW M4 and then this is going to be an excellent good first place to be able to be in the lead and move stay on to first place. That was a pretty good one for it. Well, looks like the M4 is definitely going to be able to push hard to be able to catch up to be back in the first. So, Looks like Custom C6 is about to take a little chance to be able to go on first place. Now, looks like this is going to be quite very good to be commenting well for it. Just giving a little bit good smooth on the apex to be going on the inside. Oh yeah, hope you really enjoyed the January 2019 update featuring two recent Part is definitely shown featuring the replay part on the bottom right. I hope this has definitely quite come up to have something very good and interesting to be in for it. So, looks like I'll be able to save it for a regular gameplay for it because this will be able to go for it. Alright, so, looks like the M4 is about to come back in on the first, so, looks like this will have to make a little comeback on the PBR. We'll be able to drive faster to catch up for it. But literally, 
The Grip 500 is definitely quite a very good one of the most main vehicles in every Gran Turismo series. So this is definitely quite good to be able to have one of the main drivers in the GT Cup along with the Dodge Viper GTS. But luckily, I hope this is going to be able to have the next month's update that it's going to be Grand Valley or anyone's choice that might be able to have for it, maybe like the Bob Frankenstein. The Belgian track is definitely quite very good that everybody really wants to race for it because this is definitely good for an F1 event and also the WEC event. So, looks like here comes for the final lap. This is going to be an excellent good choice to be able to drive for this and then this will come closer for it. This is going to be quite very excellent for us, so, well, I kind of think that this is definitely an excellent PBR vehicle for us, because this is going to be quite very original for us. So the model design is definitely created in 2000, so this is definitely the perfect car to be able to enter to the landing for us. So, time to go in for a final stretch again. B6 takes the checker flag and that was a pretty good win. Now, that was a pretty fantastic for a TBR car to be able to reach up in first. So, let's see how the other B6 driver is doing. So, looks like this is going to be good for having a ninth place. So, that was a pretty good race. So, looks like this is going to be quite giving the good excellent to be able to get some more runs to be able to go for it so looks like this is going to be quite very fun to be able to drive the Tuscan Speed 6 again for it now looks like this will be able to race it on end for it because this will be able to have for the next round for it so probably let's just gonna give something to try out for it to be able to go on for it so maybe this will be able to change the number of laps so this will be able to work this out for it. So looks like time to go on to Tokyo Expressway South Interloop and then this will be quite going a little bit simple to be able to use the speed 6 again and then this time this will be able to have three laps for sure because this will be able to work this out to be able to get some more runs to be able to have some slight turns will be quite giving a good efficient. So luckily let's go for it because Tuscan Speed 6 is going to have to take further chances to be able to go for it because that might be quite very good. So fortunately, this will be able to have 6 rounds between the Tuscan Speed 6 so this is going to be quite giving a good start to be able to get ready. Now, let's just gonna get ready to be prepared and then let's go for it. Alright, Tokyo Expressway South, here we go, because this might be goes for it. Okay, so pretty good for the headlights that might be turned on for it. And luckily for the cruiser, it was definitely changing up by numbers for it, so it also randomly for it before the race begins. So, looks like this is going to be quite giving a good interest for it. Okay, so let's just kind of take a little slow turn. While the other car is actually in the way for it. Good. So that was pretty awesome. Fast run for it. Because this is pretty good because this car only was definitely giving a good light handling to be able to get a good source for it. So, looks like there's a gray Tuscan C6, which was almost actually a silver color, but this will be able to have a little mystery color guess, of course, because the Tuscan C6 also has plenty of good colors to be able to use. 
itself looks like this will be able to come in quite carefully on the right. Because this is going to be quite very good to be able to go for it. Okay, so once in the tunnel, material light is definitely changed up a little bit. Now, it looks like it's going to be able to drive carefully as possible for it. Okay, going in. Oh, well, it looks like it's getting a little nice call for it. Perfect hairpin turn, and then this will go in for it. Okay, keep going in. Taking on that technical test first, because this will be able to get crazy to do some different experience for the next one for it. I hope this is going to be quite very challenging to be quite as simple. will be able to go on better at effort to believe in. So it looks like going on that next lap and then this will be able to catch up for it. Slide it in on the inside and this will come harder. Okay, going on fifth place and then this will keep on going for a speed six run to be able to catch up for it. Grip might be able to come in handy, and then this will have to go a little bit much catching up to do. Okay, going in past that Ferrari GPO and going onto the tunnel. Four plate coming in, and three more to go. This is going to get a little bit much excellent run to be able to be excited, folks. Okay, looks like 14 to 40 is definitely using up the another lane for it. So, looks like this will be able to go in and have that turn and give a little slide turn to be able to get a little grip. Good close call, and then this will be able to keep continuing on to do some more catching up the news to be able to beat the top three runners for it. So, looks like this is going to be an excellent good line for it. Porsche 911, modern 997 is definitely quite giving a good time to be able to catch up to the BMW M4. Stay carefully. Well, the speed stick does give him a little good grip on it because that was definitely quite giving a good handling when putting up the sports hard tires for it. So this will have to be able to be sure because we think that this is definitely an excellent car to be able to do some handling turns and also drift. So that might be quite very well to be able to get some improvements to be able to go for it. But also, the Tuscan Speed 6 also has a race modification from Gran Turismo 5 because this is definitely an excellent good style of the race car version. It was definitely marked as a touring car version, but it also reappears in Gran Turismo 6, but it is also available to be able to buy purchase, because good thing that this is definitely a good car to be able to have it in without a wing card on it. But luckily, that was one of the 15 most race modification vehicles since GT5 folks, because the Tuscan V6 is definitely a quite good car to be able to have it in for it to be able to race and drift to be able to go a little 
little bit challenging to be prepared for it. Now, looks like this is going to be good to be able to get some good grab speed to be prepared. So let's go and overtake that BMW M4 and then let's bring it into first place. So good thing that the final lap is going to be quite coming true for us. Good. Tuscan P6 comes in the lead, and then this will be able to have one good advantage. Look at that TBR go! Now this is going to be quite giving a good excellent to be able to have some fine efficient runs to be able to go at it. Okay, so... Looks like this might be able to have a little patient time to do while drifting. So this will be able to have standard turns for people to be concentrating as possible whenever you get the chance to be able to do reaching up the finish line. Okay, so close so far. It looks like still going in first. So B6 takes the check flag, goes on in Tokyo Expressway, and this is a pretty good well done. Well, I kind of think that was a pretty awesome race. So this will be able to have to keep using the speed 6 until this will be quite giving an excellent run for it. So, looks like this is kind of giving one excellent good earnings and looks like 100 miles is definitely stacking up to do. Now, looks like this is going to be able to have for the next course. So, I hope this will be able to have a certain short track to be able to be as promised. Now this will be able to go on over to do a little race on Autodrome Lagomagidor East and this is going to be quite very an excellent good choice to be able to race on the fictional Italian track to be able to be as good as always. But yeah, I know that this is definitely quite good for the number 6 for the TBR model. Well, looks like this will be able to have for the next round of this track. And then, this is definitely the dirt round, folks. Well, I hope I might be able to have 6 rounds featuring the Tuscan V6. So this will be able to have this for a 1 hour segment for it. So, let's go. And then... This is going to be quite giving a good time to be able to be ready. Okay, so looks like this is quite interesting. Alright, so looks like bringing out that F-150 Raptor again. So looks like the pickup truck really wants to go for it. So, looks like this will be able to go 3 laps as usual, and this is going to be quite shiny enough to be able to have a nice sunlight to be able to go a nice, better, good view. Okay, so looks like BMW M3 is definitely giving a good performance to be able to go upwards. Now, this will be able to get a little speed up to be able to go maxed up as possible and taking a low turn to be approached. Well, looks like this is definitely getting a little challenging to go to the Ferrari 512 and the end of the Kurtz Well, looks like it might be able to take a little nice and easy flow to be able to have a little turn on it. Okay, going in and have that Apex mark checked in. Okay, it's like the same Tuscan again for the same. Well, also the different color of what definitely is for it. So it looks like the Starnus blue was actually in for it. So it looks like there's a different alternate interior tint color on it. So it looks like this is definitely quite giving us differences on this version. So I kind of think that the black interior style was definitely 
fight there to get style for it. And also that uh, the beige color also has different ones in it. So it also might be for the fight giving the color differences with any kinds of two interior fusions as well for it. So this is definitely quite common looking gear for it. So it also has two types of interior use of the color for it. So this is might be quite surprising guess. So that was a pretty good sharp close call for the turn. So that might be able to give him a little collision for it. So looks like that calls it a safe call for it. So here we go. Looks like going on that last lap we might be able to have one chance for it. I hope the SFR racing concept and the M4 are always gives it a little bit of chance to be able to stay on the top lead. So looks like this will have to make way for the Speed 6 Tuscan. This will be able to get a little bit much efficient to be a problem for. Okay, Toyota SFR Racing third. Now, time for the M4 to be able to go in in second. This will be able to have a few turns until make the one opening move to be able to go in for it. There you go. Now have that drift to be able to go a little bit slightly more. To do a little bit less skills to be able to go successful for it. Time for the last turn, and then this will be come further in, folks. Time for the final stretch. We'll be able to get ready. And this time, three rounds for having a little bit more time for the run. And this will be able to get ready for one lap on the long distance course. So this is going to be quite very excellent to be prepared for a regular race before taking on one lap challenge will be getting much tougher to be prepared for it. So that was a pretty good three round race for only part one. And this is going to be quite very good to be able to race in for. So this will be quite excellent good choice on the distance. And this will be quite giving a good excellent start to be able to go for it. So this will be able to check on the manual transmission as well. Okay, so by taking a good preview look on this one, so it definitely remains the same when using the 5.3 transmission. So it looks like this is definitely one good surprise to be able to have that speed 6 is definitely quite good for it. So looks like I just definitely did 3 rounds on the on full lap sports so looks like for the next three rounds so this will be able to have to be able to get ready for one long lap to be able to get started for it so looks like this will be able to get ready to be able to well maybe this will be able to save this up for it so looks like this will be able to get everything ready to go so uh, I'll make sure I'll be right back until this will be able to get ready for the next three rounds of this race to be able to keep using the speed six so looks like this is going to be quite giving a good excellent start to be able to go for it so so that was a pretty good tbr car for only one vehicle in gt sports because this is definitely quite giving a good start to be able to have the tuscan 
Speed 6 to be quite going to be excited for it. Well folks, glad that you really enjoyed this race featuring this TBR. So thanks for watching and I hope you really enjoy it. So be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe on YouTube and don't forget to click the bell for some notification for some uploads. And also the links on the description down below if you want to see more. I'll be seeing you guys next time on part 2 between this Tuscan Speed 6 and I'll see you guys next time. Keep on racing, stay cool.